Hi, and welcome to WKC Digital, where we cover topics related to science, engineering, and environmental consulting. In air quality studies and ambient standards regulated worldwide, concentrations of air pollutants are sometimes expressed in units of mass per volume, and at other times in parts per billion or parts per million. This can sometimes be confusing, especially when you need to compare values with different units. In this video, we'll discuss the concept of air pollutant concentrations and how to convert units from micrograms per cubic meter to parts per billion or from milligrams per cubic meter to parts per million and vice versa. An air pollutant can be expressed on a mass fraction or volume fraction basis. For air pollutants that are gases, parts per billion or parts per million by volume is typically used. Pollutant concentrations can also be expressed as micrograms per cubic meter, i.e. a millionth of a gram per cubic meter of air. Remember, for particulate matter, parts per million or parts per billion does not apply, as micrograms per cubic meter is the convention. This is because it's virtually impossible to determine the molecular weights of its complex physical and chemical composition. What are micrograms per cubic meter? Micrograms are a unit of mass, one millionth of a gram to be exact, and cubic meters describe a volume occupied by an equilateral cube with a one meter side length. Therefore, micrograms per cubic meter is a mass of a pollutant gas per volume unit of ambient air. Although the number of moles of a gas is dependent on its molecular mass, it should be noted that one mole of a gas occupies the same volume as any other gas at the same temperature and pressure, irrespective of its molecular mass. This can be explained through the use of Avogadro's law, which states that equal volumes of different gases contain an equal number of molecules. What is a part per million or part per billion? These are expressions of concentration, and simply put, it is one volume of, say, a pollutant gas in a million volumes of air. A concentration describes how much of one quantity is present in a substrate material. In the case of air quality applications, the substrate is ambient air. Imagine we need to measure air pollution, where pollution is defined as the molecules of gas which wouldn't ordinarily be considered as part of clean air. For an ideal gas, the definition of one part per million is therefore one unit of volume of the pollutant gas to one million volumes of air. By extension, the same applies to parts per billion. Let's take a look at a scenario where you'll need to convert between parts per billion to micrograms per cubic meter or from parts per million to milligrams per cubic meter and vice versa. Let's say you have a baseline measurement for a pollutant where the result is given in parts per billion. You then need to contextualize the results of an air dispersion modeling study with reference to the baseline concentration in order to assess the cumulative impact of a facility on the environment. As the results of the air dispersion model and the ambient air quality standard are given in micrograms per cubic meter, the baseline measurement must first be converted from parts per billion to micrograms per cubic meter. How does standard temperature and pressure affect unit conversions? Standard Temperature and Pressure Ambient air quality guidelines are referenced at standard temperature and pressure. Units for these standard conditions vary depending on the industry or governmental body, but standard conditions are normally referenced to 0 degrees Celsius and 1 atmosphere. Getting the conversion of units wrong could mean inaccurate claims about the state of air quality or false claims about the impact of an emitter on ambient air quality. Why? Because different temperatures and pressures affect the amount of space occupied by a gas. The higher the temperature, the higher the volume. Conversely, the higher the pressure, the lower the amount of space occupied by the gas. These concepts are generally explained using Charles' Law and Boyle's Law. Charles' Law states that the volume of a given gas sample is directly proportional to its absolute temperature at constant pressure. Boyle's law states that the volume of a given amount of gas is inversely proportional to its pressure at a constant temperature. In summary, you'll want to compare apples with apples by converting your measured values to include the same units and reference conditions as the guideline value you wish to compare it to. Don't forget to always state the reference conditions of temperature and pressure when using micrograms per cubic meter. 
For quick conversions between micrograms per cubic meter to parts per million, or from milligrams per cubic meter to parts per million and vice versa, we've developed a free-to-use conversion tool available on the Tools Room page of our website. Our free online tool allows the user to compare measurements of concentration in milligrams per cubic meter or micrograms per cubic meter directly to an ambient standard. We've also created a short instructional video on how to use this tool. You'll find a link to the tool as well as the instructional video in the description box below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative or helpful, please help the YouTube algorithm along by hitting the like button. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our portfolio of free-to-use tools which are bringing back the lost art of environmental engineering.